much real shot. I don't know how much real shot. Rock it out your house. 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 Psalm 50. The mighty God, even the Lord, hath spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, God hath shined. Our God shall come, and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above, and to the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself, Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will speak, O Israel, and I will testify against thee. I am God, even thy God. I will not reprove thee for thy sacrifices or thy burnt offerings, to have been continually before me. I will take no bullock out of thy house, nor he goats out of thy foes. For every beast of the forest is mine, and the cattle upon a thousand hills. I know all the fowls of the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell thee, for the world is mine, and the fullness thereof. Will I eat the flesh of bulls, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most High. And call upon me in the day of trouble, I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. But unto the wicked God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldst take my covenant in thy mouth? Seeing thou hatest instruction, and castest my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, and thou consentedest with him, and hast been partaker with adulterers, thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Thou sittest, and speakest against thy brother. Thou slanderest thine own mother's son. These things hast thou done, and I kept silence. Thou thoughtest that I was altogether such an one as thyself, but I will reprove thee, and set them in order before thine eyes. Now consider this, ye that forget God, lest I tear you in pieces, and there be none to deliver. Whoso offereth praise, glorifieth me, and him that ordereth his conversation aright, will I show the salvation of God. All right, Shalom. Boom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash, double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great examples to his younger brothers. And peace and blessing, salutations to the hopeful leg out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful leg, the believers, the listeners. Who may have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in you all by Shema Shah. All right, what I want to get into this morning, you know, is um, you know, you have this thing dealing with the uh, conflict, you know, over there in Israel, where you have people, you know, saying they either stand with Israel, you know, some people saying they stand with Palestine, you know, where our stance on the matter is we stand with prophecy, you know. Um, brother said, you know, you had some brothers report, you know, that you had people coming up to the camp, you know, pretty much asking them who they with, you know, dealing with what's going on with the Israelis and the Palestinians. And at the end of the day, we're with prophecy. 
okay we we're for our people you know there's 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 a conflict between those two people all right and at the end of the day it plays in our favor you know what's happening in that region is playing in our favor for the good of israel okay the the hopeful elect of israel everything plays in their favor all right so we have you know uh, uh, no stance you know on either side you know we stand with prophecy man you know and, and if someone comes to the camp and asks you know what, what, what what's y'all stance go into the prophecy man you know what we're going to do we're just going to go into prophecy man okay because one thing about it prophecy okay explains everything see everything outside of prophecy is just an opinion you know prophecy is the facts of the matter prophecy is what will happen okay so we're going to get into these things now i want to um and there's you know esau he's all about you know creating these categories where people you know have to choose a side you know the democrat republic you know pro juice anti-juice pro-abortion anti-abortion you know you know pro-palestinian pro you know uh israeli you know there's always you know he he plays these two sides against each other he always had these two categories all right that's on uh, warring against each other you know that's how the devil operate or out of chaos you know uh divide and conquer okay <clears throat> gets you occupied in the conflict that he created you know which he plays both sides you know and he puts people in the category where he can judge them according to how he feel you know so this, this is nothing new but the latest all right the latest of his two categories is pro-israeli and pro uh palestinian who do you stand with well we stand with prophecy man all right what the scriptures say now this is um second Ezra 15 and 1 it says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which i will put in thy mouth said the lord so we're commanded to speak to our people in prophecy okay that's that that's the top thing in this ministry as we edify our people teach them who they are teach teach them the standards okay of the scriptures how to be how to move you know uh, uh you know self-development a lot of self-development you know within the ministry okay but then there's also the factor okay there's also the fact of prophecy all right that there should be the main portion of the ministry is prophecy man all right so let's go from there and let's just get into some precepts you know let's get um the revelation 19 and this is how you know someone's in the spirit of your shot all right when they're in the spirit of prophecy man this is real Revelation 19 and 10, it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Hawashah, worship the Most High for the testimony of Hawashah, the spirit of prophecy. Okay? The testimony of Hawashah, the spirit of prophecy, man, because ultimate prophecy all leads to the second coming of Yahweh you know and that's why we pay attention to these things so closely because they entail how close we are to the second coming of your shot so as we see these things happening in the earth we understand how close we are to to the lord's all right uh second coming okay so what's going on over there in israel all right our only concern is the the part that it plays in prophecy okay so what's happening over there in that land I say our only concern is how it uh, asks the prophecy, how prophecy is speaking in this situation. That's the only reason we care. Okay, we want, we want, we're not into you know Sudan, a civil war in Sudan. You know, uh, uh, uprising. You know, um, <laughs> you see, uh, Kenya. You know, fighting against you know some other African. Nah, nah. you know, this, 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 what's going on over there? All right, shows where we get. So this is uh, on Jeremiah 49 20 said, Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemal Shai, that he have taken against Edom. Okay, and these the, the Israelis are Edomites. Okay, 
this is why this conflict you know this is why we're you know watching this conflict because it's uh, uh dealing with Edom okay and his purposes that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman surely the least of the flock shall draw them out all right and this is what we're seeing so as we're seeing prophecy we report on these things man this is why we're in tune to what's going on in that region all right because it all ties in the prophecy man so the israelis are doing exactly what the prophecy said they would do is draw out all right these other nations to the war and ultimately it's going to lead to what surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them okay it's going to lead to them, hey, them the devils being wiped out okay it said the earth is moved at the north of their fall at the at the cry the north of was heard in the red sea okay because this war is going to start off conventional okay it's going to be a lot of bodies this war is going to collect a lot of bodies okay and then it's going to turn nuclear to hey the earth is going to be moved all right and america going to be completely turned into a desert and our land is going to be uh cleansed all right and renovated all right for its true people now when you go here when you talk about prophecy all right because we know who we are based on prophecy man one of the main things that persuade us that hey we are the israelites is when you go to the curses okay do you run 28 15 on down i read 15 then jump to the um, main point deuteronomy 28 and 15 but it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the lord our power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which i commanded thee this day that all the curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee okay so this what we read about the curses all right was a consequence of our disobedience okay and these consequences all right will be a token of who we are now you can go through it and all these fit us as a people all the people on the on the on the, on the 12 tribe chart all right are bound by these curses you know and that's one of the things that persuaded me the most was seeing you know the, the chart and then go and then when brothers broke down the curses uh it it made perfect sense you know it just clicked in the spirit you know and i'm quite sure it, it was similar you know you brothers even you sister had that, that similar experience you know but when you read here this dude around 28 and 53 it says the stranger that is within thee shall get above thee very high and thou shalt come down very low all right and that's the setup that we see in the earth you know you go to any city in america you always have your nice side of town okay either might jogging downtown all right uh you know your, your your tourist section you know your little scripts and bars and your hangouts okay esau living the whole esau has a completely different experience you know in these different cities than jake now you have a few jake sprinkled you know with esau but for the most part you know it's always and jake jake is in the impoverished drug infested violent okay uh single mother culture okay that's what jake resided at, but that's all goes into a prophecy man that all goes into the curses even this single mother culture the scriptures say that how uh, her i will be evil towards her husband the husband i will be evil towards her um uh, you know she would despise the kids you know the husband is going to leave you know that's all part of the curse so the scenarios that we see our people in all right are all go back to the curses which is prophetic because these are things that would happen to us all right and as we keep reading it says he shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him he shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail okay and you got to go through the devil to get what all right your car finance your house finance even if you do pay those things off guess what you still have to uh pay taxes okay on those things to who okay you gotta you gotta he gotta borrow money from him to go to school okay and like i said you have a jake or two that you know don't have to do 
those particular things, but he hey, they curse somewhere. And that's another thing. Just because Jake might not be financially cursed, they still curse somewhere, man. <laughs> okay. Some Jake got more curses on them than others, but at the end of the day, as the people we're under these curses, man, and we're the tail, we're the last. Okay. Um, verse 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Because thou hast hearkened not to the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And you see, our people is a destroyed people, man. Look at all the dysfunction and chaos and abomination that plagues our people now. Okay? You 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 can look at, you know, just the culture, you know, sexy red. That's that's a destroyed mindset, man. Okay. Young Miami, I see that's a destroyed, you know, Takashi 6 9. That's a destroyed mindset that dominates our people, man. Okay, our people heavy into the alphabet community on the front line of that madness. Okay, a destroyed people, you know, dysfunctional families. All right, and the Lord said that them, them curses will overtake us until we be destroyed. And you look at our people. They are not being healed by this truth. You know, they're going further and further into a destroyed mindset, man. Okay. Verse uh, 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Okay. So this is how we know who we are. Through prophecy, man. Or what will happen to us, man. And you go into this word. All right. Sign. All right, in the um, Hebrew, it's ah, what is it? Ayath, okay. Ayath, yep. And it says sign, signal, a distinguishing mark. Okay, so we know who we are. Okay, these curses are a distinguishing mark of who we are, or what will happen to Israel for disobedience. A miraculous sign a miracle proof okay proof of who we are all right we got the receipt of who we are because of the curses okay then you got this because at the end of the day you can't just hide you know then it like they got Jephthah okay the turncoat he tried to make it seem as if all right slavery didn't exist like no nah, that's a receipt okay the lord had that major event that undeniable event happened of slavery where we were transported from one side of the earth to another to serve captivity all right to be a receipt of who we are jeremiah 17 and 4 says and thou even thyself when this is prophecy shall discontinue from thy heritage that i gave thee and i will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not for ye have kindled a fire in my angle, which shall burn forever. Okay? Which shall burn forever. For a long time. So, we fell away from our heritage. You know, we discontinued from our land. Okay? We discontinued from our culture. All right? We discontinued from our language. Okay? We discontinued from those things. You see? And we was cause to serve our enemies in the land which thou know is not okay because we all right are from jerusalem we're from israel so coming over here to the western hemisphere to serve captivity was a land that we knew not all right you had we had knowledge of the land you know the higher ups you know king solomon you know would send his his navies you know to the americas all right and bring back particular things okay so we had knowledge of the land but we never dwelt there we didn't know that land okay until you had the, the, the northern tribes come over from the assyrian captivity okay and then you had all right the transatlantic slave trade which brought over the southern kingdom all right in which a israel and judah were serving captivity together okay so this is just a receipt this prophecy is a receipt of who we are okay 
the most the, the the most known slave trade okay in the world is the transatlantic slave trade that's the most known slave trade in the world okay and you think of slavery you automatically think of what happened to us okay so once again that this prophecy proving who we are and on the flip side okay my brother can get that in um uh baruch 2 and 30 i think 31 in the land of our captivities how we will remember ourselves okay this is um get this in isaiah yeah i believe it's baruch 2 30 31 in the land of our captivities you might can put all of it um from two yeah you might can post the rest of that chapter yeah baruch two Verses 30. Well, we start at 29. I might get it. I might get it from here. So I'm going to read down. Let me get this Isaiah first. All right. So let's get this Isaiah 44. All right. Isaiah 44 and 1. All right. Hey, 144. <clears throat> the blessings of Israel okay so as you read Isaiah 44 1 it says yet now here O Jacob my servant Israel whom I have chosen okay thus said the Lord that made thee and formed thee <clears throat> from the womb which will help thee fear not O Jacob my servant and thou Joshua all right which is Yahshua in Hebrew well right one whom I have chosen, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessings of, upon thine offspring. So, yeah, that same lineage, all right, that will be under the curses, the same lineage of Israelites that will be under the cursing. And towards the end, the Lord will pour out his spirit, which will be our blessing. You know? This, this this word is a blessing to have this understanding especially as we see people bug out more and more people are really dehydrated man jake is scoffing and mocking more that's becoming a common thing all right even jake the know their israelites they're still dehydrated in the spirit okay but what we're seeing the lord has poured his spirit all right via this word all right on up with the, the, the lineage of israel okay the hopeful elect of their lineage of israel man so this is what we're seeing happen in real time and they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water courses this is what you see with these camps man and this is not happening amongst any other nation of people where you just have this influx of of of, of, of men okay these camps are springing up and teaching this word okay men are being watered by this word and then camps are springing up man okay and in my short time in the ministry man we, you know i've seen cities that didn't have you know a camp now they have camps you know one or two brothers you know start hearing this word you know start being watered by this word and eventually guess what they spring up as a camp okay and they keep repeating the same cycle man okay the Lord is watering his garden. <laughs> you see? And this is just a token of who we are. No other nation of people is doing this. All right? It says, one shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord Yahweh, and surname himself by the name of Israel, man. And this is where you get, you know, within the camps. Okay? Brothers, you know, have Hebrew names now. Even, you know, sisters, some sisters have Hebrew names. You know, they're subscribing. Okay, we're, we're getting the language back in Paleo-Hebrew. 
we're calling ourselves, you know, monks, you know, the body amongst each other by Hebrew names. Okay, we, we you know, we, we, we have, you know, uh, dialogue to some degree in the Hebrew and the way we greet, you know, each other. Okay, that's only happening amongst one people. All right, and it wouldn't be no no damn Yiddish. Okay, and you don't see no count springing up. All right, from these devils, these, these goddamn Israelis, man. Okay, camps only springing up amongst the tribes. All right, and then you have uh, people that look like Edomites in the camp. Okay, but they their lineage, all right, goes back to Israel through their father, man. You know, they Israelite foreigners, man. All right, so let's go here. Let's go here. Um, let's get this I in there, bro. Yeah, I in with the bro. Because the only prophecy that these devils see, these devils, they're fulfilling prophecy, just not the prophecy. See, they trying to force, you know, they trying to force, you know, prophecy to fit them being the, the true Israelites, but it don't. Okay, this is their prophecy, man. All right, you're, you're, you're Edomites. All right, and we'll go to a prophecy that you fulfill being in their land. Okay, this is Luke 21. And um, all right, 24. This is pro more prophecy. Luke 21 and 24 says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword. Speaking of 70 AD, all right, when we will be ran out of Jerusalem, okay, by Roman uh, legion, Roman military, because of a war. Pretty much between the Zealot Sakari and uh the Roman government, okay, which led to Jerusalem, you know, being destroyed and our people being scattered. You know, some of them put to death. Okay, and a lot of them, you know, went into captivity right then. Okay, and a lot of them fled, you know, into the interior parts of Africa, you know, mainly northern, you know, uh in, in Western Africa, all right, and Eventually, they will still go into captivity as well. All right. It says, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles, actually other nations, until the time where the Gentiles be fulfilled. So aren't we seeing our land trodden down by Gentiles fighting over our land? Okay. Fighting over our capital, Jerusalem. You know, talking about they want a two-state. Uh, solution, you know, half of Jerusalem go to the Israelis and half go to the Palestinians. That's what we're seeing now, man. Okay, they warned over that over that land. All right, that's our land being trodden down by the Gentile, and we've been led into captivity. We're in the lands of our captivity while they're fighting over our land. Okay, but we to the point to where the spirit, all right, is upon his people, beginning with the men. All right, well, Dane to teach this word, okay, prophesying what's to happen next, okay, and the favor that's to be showed to the Lord's people and the destruction, all right, to you heathens, okay. So, yeah, you do, all right, these devils, because everyone is playing their role within prophecy, but Esau just lying about his part, okay. So, you go from there, let's get that in Ezekiel. 36 Ezekiel 36 and 1 it said also thou son of man prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say ye mountains of Israel hear the word of the Lord Yahweh so this is uh the Lord prophesying to our land okay he has Ezekiel prophesying to the actual land okay and it says, Thus said the Lord Power, because the enemy have said against you, Aha, even the ancient high places are ours in possession, man. Okay? And when was this devil able to do this? They bow for a declaration. 
you know, when pretty much the British government granted, all right, those uh, uh, Ashkenazi, okay, small hats, which we're still going to get into that, uh, that, that history as well, you know, when they granted them a state in Palestine, all right, in which the British government pretty much uh, uh, started to evict those Palestinians and establish that because it, it's nothing pretty much but a European military colony in the, in the, in, in the Middle East, okay? It has nothing to do with the true people coming back. But it's fulfilling this prophecy, all right, of the enemy getting our land. Therefore, prophesy and say this of the Lord because they have made you desolate. Yeah, these people are made our land desolate. Our land is barren, unfruitful, dry, dusty as hell. Okay, because they have made you desolate, swallow you up on every side, that you might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and you are taken up in the lips of talkers and the infamy of the people. All right, infamy be famous, all right, for um for wickedness, man. All right, isn't Israel, those Israelis becoming very infamous in the earth? Okay, they're becoming extremely <laughs> infamous in the earth, man. People are looking at what they're doing, all right, and it's like, damn, they, they just murderers, man. You know? Let's see if I can... Uh... Get that man. So they're fulfilling this prophecy, man. All right. So you get so um, get that word pulled up. All right, so this that word infamous. Let's see. Yeah, so you go into infamous. It says, well known for some bad quality or deed, an infamous war criminal. Criminal. Okay, and this is what the world is looking at those Israelis as infamous war criminals, man. They're they they're, they're being famous for a bad quality, man. Okay. Hey, this, this is what we're seeing, and they're fulfilling this prophecy. All right, and it says, "Ye are taken up in the lips of talkers." Everyone is talking about, you know, you, there's a talk. See, everyone's not going to narrative of them being victims. And then a lot of people know that the that, that, that things that, that, that these things we see are orchestrated. These so-called attacks that you know they get to. Turn the camera on and try to play the victim. People are waking up to these things are orchestrated, and the response to it is is is, is wicked, is unjust. Okay. So it says, and you are taken up in the lips of talkers and are an infamy of the people, an infamy of the people, and this is what we're seeing. Okay, it said, therefore, ye mountains of Israel. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord power to the mountains, to the hills, and to the rivers, and to the valleys, to the desolate waste, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey to the residue of the heathen that are around about them. Yeah. You know, Esau Edom is the main heathen there, but you have other heathens in that land. All right. And staking claim. Therefore, thus said the Lord power. Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen that's going to be in war. And again, and this is why Lord is is is, is, is has this war on go mode, okay? Because he's finna speak in the fire of his jealousy, man. He finna cause their place to be cleansed with fire from this war. It says, and against all I do me and have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with the spiteful minds to cast it out as a prey, prophesy, there, sir, uh, therefore. Uh, concerning the land of Israel and say unto the mountains, to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys, thus said the Lord, Behold, I have spoken in the jealousy of my fury because you have borne the shame of the heathen. So it was prophesied that our land, okay, will, will bear the shame of the heathen. All right. And the top heathen, 
all right because it that the land was created for us and that land was created you know to uh with a standard there was a certain standard required to be in that land and those heathens are not upholding to that standard yeah all these different religions islam zionism and all this madness all right it was all based in wickedness okay but who who's at the forefront of it who who's the main corporate says idumium which goes back to edom okay with edom goes to red but edom edom my idumium descendants of esau okay descendants of esau okay <laughs> it says edom the elder twin brother of jacob all right the elder shall serve the younger which is prophecy we stand on prophecy man someone ask come to the camp and ask what you stand go straight into the prophecy okay <laughs> you see that so this devil he's out in the open he's caught he can't hide prophecy tell it all okay prophecy explain the chaos that this man has created in the earth man okay and this is where we're at all right so let's go here i want to get this i want to get this all right Yep. Brother put in here. This is the brother Isaiah Bunny Howard. This is Rock 24 and 32. It says, I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning. All right. And will send forth her light afar off. Yeah. Because like, there's something. That's, and this, the truth is like the sun rising. It's covering the earth. Okay. It's going to fall off. How? By the internet. Okay. It's going to fall off. You see, but it's like the sun rising in the earth. Is this 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 truth? Okay, this doctrine, man. I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it all right to all ages forever. So doctrine, a major part of the doctrine is what? Prophecy. Okay. That's why we stay in these prophecies, man, because prophecies keeps keeping us on track. On track. Okay. Prophecy is, 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 is making sense of the chaos and is, is explaining the will of Yahweh Bashim outside in the earth, man. You know? So we, you know, hey, he foresee the evil and hide himself. A prudent man foresee the evil. How you foresee the evil? Prophecy. <laughs> okay? So let's go here. Um, This is Baruch 2 and 29. It says, if you were not uh yeah i started the uh, 20 i started 27 it says oh lord our power thou has dealt with us after all thy goodness and according to all their great mercy of thine if thou spakest by thy servant moses in the day when thou didst command him to write in the law before the children of israel saying if you will not hear my voice going back to the curses surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nation where i will scatter them okay so it was prophesied we will be scattered you know so uh according to those israelis those small heads they was gathered in 1948 but the scriptures say we will be scattered until the time of your shot okay so any gathering before then will be false okay the scripture tell us how we will be gathered for i knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves and this is what we're seeing okay us remembering ourselves man okay and shall know that i'm the lord their power for i will give them a heart and ears to hear okay going back to what he pour his blessings upon you know the offspring of jacob okay and that blessing was what the gift of faith all right in this grace okay 
That's him giving us a, a heart and ears to hear, a mindset to be obedient, a mindset to seek after Yahweh by Shema Shah. That was a gift given to us, a blessing. Okay, was your promise that he would he will pour his blessing all right, his waters upon the what uh, uh, the offspring. Okay, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. So you have all these camps praising the Lord, teaching. Okay, in all these places of our captivity, teaching in the name. That's only happened amongst us, man. Only one people is doing that. Okay, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, which is repenting, for they shall remember the ways of their father was sin before the Lord. Yeah, you know. So we've turned away from pagan culture. Okay, we turned away from celebrating these wicked holidays, man. Calling on false names. Okay, living by a westernized standard, you know, we 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 return from that way, all right. And and what did he say? And I will bring them again into the land which I promised. The Lord said He's gonna bring us in that land, which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. Okay, you got Israelis, all right, that are fleeing the country because of the war. Okay, but the scripture say we're gonna be lords of that land when we come back. Okay, it says, and I will increase them, and they shall not be diminished. Okay, all right, you got Israelis that's dying over there, that's being dismissed, uh, diminished. They dying from the juice, you know, they had one of the biggest, you know, the, the highest rate of people taking the juice, they're being diminished. Okay, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power, and they shall be my people, and I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I have given them. Okay, and we're seeing, like I say, there's people fleeing the land of Israel now. There's so so called, you know, the people fleeing the land. Okay, showing you that they don't fit the prophecy of the real people returning to their land. Okay, and we're gonna keep driving home the point. All right, we're gonna keep driving this point home, man. All right, because you devils, okay, are caught. You out there, the spirit got you out there bad, you know. And it was like, we just gonna keep driving the point home, man. <laughs> you see, so yeah, that's where we stand with prophecy, man. And there's plenty more, you know, there's so much prophecy to go into. All right, proving that they're not the people and proving we are. You know, and we're just going to keep going into these things, man. You know? So, Lord will, you brothers, all right? And you sisters, edify once again and give all praise unto and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushah, Ba'ashem, Kakotash, and double honors unto the apostles and the elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being great example to us younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutations to the hopeful, that shallow one.